Welcome back to Algo.js. Today's question is leak code 79, word search. So given an n by n grid of characters board and a string word, return true if word exists in the grid. The word can be constructed from letters of sequentially adjacent cells where adjacent cells are horizontally or vertically neighboring. The same letter cell may not be used more than once. So in example one, we have this board. Uh, we are looking for the word A, B, C, C, E, D. As you can see, this can be found within the board, so we need to return true. In the second example, we have C as the word, which is in the board. And lastly, in example three, we have the word A, B, C, B, which is not in the board, so we return false. So with this question, uh, we are going to be utilizing a DFS recursive solution because we need to check all possible solutions within this board to find if it potentially holds the word. So how would we do that? Well, we'd start off at the first position, we'd loop through this entire board and we check to see whether we have this letter at the position we're on. If we do, then we can start a search. So we can start the DFS recursive call and check the next letter in Word and also traverse through this board. So we need to check all positions. So we need to go right, down, left and up. And this would be a good idea to suggest that we need to have some kind of inbound function or just an if statement that says if columns is less than zero, or rows is less than zero, or rows is greater than board.length, or columns is greater than board zero dot length, then it's out of bounds, right? So this will be too far over this way. Rows less than zero will be up here. Column less than zero will be over here. And row is greater than board.length will be too far down this way. So we've checked all directions to see if it's inbound. So moving from A, we can't go here because it's out of bound. We can't go here because it's out of bound. We can move either to S or B. If we move to S, S does not equal the next letter within the word that we're looking for. So we can't go down that path. We have B here. So we can start the DFS function on this and then we repeat the process. So we check all of potential solutions, check whether they're inbound. So here, we have an issue, right? Because we're going to be going back to the previous value, which we've already checked. So this has been checked. We don't need to go back to it. So in this case, we could use something like a set to store all the letters we visited, or we could simply change this to a value like a hash. Okay, so we exclude it from the board now by adding this hash. So there's no point in going back that way. So we can't go this way. We don't go this way because the next value in the word is not equal to F. So we go to C, which is the next value. B has now been seen. Okay, so we can update B with hash. We do the same with C, we check all directions. We move to the next position, which is this position. We check all positions. We move to E, repeat the process, and we move to D. Now at D, so we've checked, checked, checked. Now at D, so we've reached the end of word. So the position we're on, say the index, which we could keep track of, is equal to word.length minus one. And if that is the case, we can return true. So we'll return true at the stack all the way up until we get back to the original position. So true will be returned from here, 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 and lastly here. So this will hop out of the DFS recursive call stack we'll have true as our answer, and then we can just return that Boolean. So time complexity is O. We have to traverse the board. So we're using a recursive call stack, so that's going to be of N operations. The difficult part is, in the first iteration, we can go in four different directions, right? But moving along, we can only choose three other possible directions, right? So we've got these three. We can't go back to the previous one because we've already looked at that. So we have three potential solutions. So that would be three, to the power of L, where L is the length of this word. So it is going to be of exponential time complexity. So to begin with, we can start off by creating the loop through the board and check to see whether we have the initial letter that's in word. So that R equals zero, R is less than board.length R plus plus. So we're looping through the rows here, and then we're gonna loop through the columns as well. So C is less than board zero dot length. And if board 
at RC is equal to word zero, then run this DFS function, which we're going to create and pass in the row, the column and zero for the index. Now, if this returns true, then we can return true from this else we need to return false. Okay, so now we can create the DFS function. So DFS takes in row, column, and index. If word.length is equal to i, we can return true because we've reached the end of the word and we found all of the letters within the board. We need to carry out the inbound check. So if row is greater than or equal to word.length or rows less than zero, or column is less than zero, or column is greater than or equal to, board zero dot length. And finally, we need to check if the board at R C does not equal word at I. So when we start recursing through, we're gonna check all four positions or after the initial, we're gonna check all three positions. And if the letter at the current position in the board does not equal the letter in word, then we can return false. So before we carry out the recursion, we need to set border RC as visited. And the way we'll do this is by setting border RC to a hash. And now we can carry out the recursion. So if DFS R plus one C I plus one, so we need to increment row here and also index. Or, so we need to traverse all four directions. So R minus one, C plus one, C minus one. And if one of these positions returns true, then we can return true. Finally, within this DFS function, we need to reset the border RC to equal word I. And that's it for this code. Let's give it a run. Submit it. And there you have it.